Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Locum23. You're joining me for Choices of Stories. You play Crown of the Flame, Book 3, Chapter 13, The Sound of Thunder. Now playing as Kenna, with the Empress Azura's forces drawing ever closer to Stormhold, you and your companions set aside your preparations to enjoy one final evening together before the battle. You settle in your place at the head of the crowded table. To your right, Dom takes a seat. What happened in preparing for war? There's only so much you can do to prepare. Then it's just waiting. I thought a feast would be good to keep spirits up. Hey, no arguments from me. Dom pours himself a glass of wine, takes a long sip, and lets out a concern, contented sigh. Enjoying the wine? I'm enjoying everything. Anything tastes amazing when you've been living on a mixture of algae and powdered animal bones. Powdered... what? Hex had some uh, unorthodox ideas about what constitutes a meal. But enough about my disturbing diet. How are you feeling, Kenna? I'm feeling... Terrified, confident, or hungry? I'm feeling... confident. It's past time that someone gives her that thrashing she deserves. And, can I say how happy I am that I get to be that someone? Dom chuckles, raising his glass again. I'll drink to that. Dom smiles, reaching up to give your shoulder a squeeze. This feast was a good idea. Well... It was either this, or stand up on the walls all night, listening to thunder get closer and closer. I can't imagine anyone will be getting much sleep tonight, so we may as well spend those hours in good company. I couldn't agree more. On that note, if you can spare one of those hours later, we could have a little celebration of our own. You smirk at Dom, raising one eyebrow. A whole hour, eh? Maybe even two, if you're game. Come find me later. For now... Dom picks up a knife and loudly taps the side of his goblet. Let's have a toast from our favorite queen. Yes, a toast. Toast, toast, toast. The gathered crowd picks up the chant and gradually quiets as you get to your feet. I'm sure you're all tired of my speeches by now, so I'll keep this brief. Tomorrow, we face the fight of our lives. So tonight, let's remember what we're fighting for. Look to the future. Ooh, let's remember what we're fighting for now. Let's look to the future. This war was the Iron Empire has lasted for generations. It's bought our kingdom's resources dry and cost countless lives. But tomorrow, we change all that. Tomorrow, we banish the dark clouds that hang over us. Tomorrow, we usher in a new age for the Five Kingdoms. Hear, hear! Cheerful shouts fill the hall as everyone raises their glasses, and the cooks bring in trays heaped with food. After you've eaten your fill, you get up from the table and begin to circulate among your friends and guests. Who do you talk to? Oh, boy! <laughs> oh, any other options? God! Oh, well, might as well start with the bat, huh? Zeno and Florian. You walk over to where Zeno and Florian are sitting. Zeno pouting as she picks at her food. Enjoying the party? Are you kidding? The wine is barely drinkable, the music is terrible, and there hasn't been one fight. You want to fight? Let's go! <laughs> Wait until tomorrow. Trust me, tomorrow there will be plenty of bloodshed to go around. But it won't be the fun kind. Well, you're going to have to make do. Ahem. Queen Kinna, you may be interested to know that I have calculated a 
chances of prevailing in tomorrow's battle. Currently odds stand at one in eighty. Oh, that's actually higher than I expected. Hundred. Eighteen hundred. Oh. Oh, shut up, Florian. As if you could possibly predict that. I'll have you know that my calculations were very thorough, based on tactical analysis and historical accounts of... I don't care. That witch isn't getting her hands on our kingdoms, and that's that. We're going to win tomorrow, if I have to strangle Azura myself. I'm glad you found someone you hate more than me. You walk among the tables, searching for more familiar faces. Ah, yes! We get to pick, finally! Um, we haven't talked to Rowan in a while. Let's go on. You notice Rowan Thorn waving you over. You head towards her table, where she's drinking with a company of Thorn Gate archers. Queen Kenna. Queen Rowan, it's good to see you. How was the march north? slow and tiring, which reminds me, you and I should discuss trade routes and tax poli policies. Is that what you're over here thinking about? Tax policies are a serious matter. As is tomorrow's battle. You aren't concerned? Rowan shrugs. Thorngate has repelled the Iron Empire before. Soldiers, kings, empresses, they all look the same from behind a bow. But as Rowan speaks, you notice her hands trembling on the tabletop. Rowan, you don't have to act brave. We're all afraid. Personally, I'm terrified. But I feel much safer knowing you're here. She smiles proudly at you, sitting up a little straighter. Of course, Thorngate remembers its friends, and so do I. Can I assume you brought some of those heart oak longbows with you? Oh, yes. And plenty arrows, each a lovingly crafted gift from the people of Thorngate to the mighty Empress Azura. I can't wait to see her face when she receives them. Ah! Caillou! God, I know, God, every time I see this name, I just be the thing of it. When you find Kai, she and a burly crew of Panrion are raiding the buffet table. I didn't realize we'd lost the battle. We're already being plundered. Ha! Huh, I think this is plundering. Just wait and see how we eat after the battle. Eat as much as you want. We're grateful to have you as allies. We wouldn't miss this for the world. It's because of Azura that Panrion had to crank out ships night and day. She cost us sweat and blood. And I intend to collect with interest. Looks like you brought some tough fighters. You bet. More importantly, builders. Figured you could use some help with defenses and repairs. You figured right. Thank you, Kai. Ah, yes, we have Annalise Oval. Annalise? I think we're going through the women's section first, holy crap. You catch Annalise on her way out of the throne room, absorbing with a tray of food. Leaving so soon? I thought you'd at least stay for the dancing. Oh, I'm going to dance. Azor might be an empress, but on the dance floor, I'm the one that shines the brightest. But I'm afraid I'm working through dinner tonight. I have to make sure the infirmary is ready for tomorrow. Do you need any more help? Don't you dare. Tomorrow, you're going to be leading our armies against a woman who can literally throw lightning with her hands. Tonight is your night to relax. Drink, laugh, be with your friends. Annalise, you've done so much for me. I don't think I can ever thank you enough. Well... If you feel like trying later, just save a dance for me. Annalise gives you a quick kiss on the cheek, then hurries off with her tray of food. 
Ah, finally, Val! You follow the sound of laughter to a table where Val is drinking with the soldiers. She's one of the boys, but underneath all that armor... <laughs> oh, Lord, where did we go wrong? Kenna, there's something else we can toast to. I get the sense you've made a few toasts already. You bet we have. You've got a lot of catching up to do. Val shoves a mug of ale towards you. To Queen Kenna. Val and the soldiers down their drinks. I should... Decline, sip, chug. Chug, 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 chug. You empty the whole drink in one go and slam the tanker down on the table. Now that's how you get ready for battle. Suddenly Val's expression falters. You follow her gaze across the hall. Spot Raiden passing through the crowd. Have you talked to him yet? Talk to who? Val? Look, I get that you want everybody to get along, but this isn't a one about you. What's going on between me and him? I don't feel like dealing with tonight, okay? Okay. Good. Now then. Val climbs up on the table and stomps her boot, rattling the silverware. Listen up! I'm a big girl and I want a big drink. So I'm heading down to the village tavern and I'm arm wrestling all takers. And if you can beat Val Greaves in arm wrestling contest, you're worth ten of those iron punks. Now, who's with me? The Stormhold soldiers let out a cheer and rise to follow her. Val turns to you, grinning widely. Now, I know you have queenly duties to attend to, or whatever, but if you feel like joining us later, I promise a good time. Rawr. Val gives you a very unsubtle wink. Think about it. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> I'm not even gonna go there. Val shouts to her gang of troops. They file out of the throne room, laughing and jostling each other. Someone told me once, get your mind out of the gutter. That's my secret cap. It's always there. <laughs> After the meal, a few musicians begin to play in one corner, and guests pull several tables to the side to make room for dancing. You continue to make your rounds, smiling and nodding, your head a little to the music. Ah, well, while we're doing horrible things, let us talk to Luther. They find Luther drinking alone at an empty table. Luther? Kenna? He sips his wine and pulls out the chair beside him. You want me to sit? No, it's for my imaginary friend. Yes, girl, sit. Hmm. <laughs> I like that. I that was probably one of the best retorts Pixelberry's ever done. I like that. I like that. They need more of that. Sit. You take a seat beside Luther and sit in silence, staring out at the feast together. Eventually, he speaks. A buffet of hard choices. What? That's all you'll ever receive as a ruler. They'll hand out the easy choices among themselves like candy, but the real tough meat, the hard choices, they save those for you. And you've got to swallow every one of them whole. Is that how you view rolling? That's how I view being a ruler. With his eyes turned towards you, slow and cool. You appointed my son commander of the Navrakis troops tomorrow. You might regret that. Someday. That sounds like a threat. Does it? Well, good. Then I still have my edge. But I only meant it as a warning, Queen of Stormholt. Regret is a friend you'll come to know well in the years to come. Assuming that witch doesn't kill us all tomorrow. 
They start to leave, but Luther places a hand on your shoulder. Wait. There's something I've been meaning to say to you. You brush his hand off and turn around. What is it? What happened with your mother? I want you to know it was nothing personal. It was one of those hard decisions. And I swallowed it. I'd do it again in a heartbeat, but I took no joy in it. Understand? I should acknowledge him, slap him, walk away. I mean, we have thousands of years to go back on history of decisions made like that. And kingdoms were built, ruled, and destroyed in those manners. So I must acknowledge them. I understand why you thought you had to do it, but it doesn't mean I'll forgive you. And if you ever cross me and look down to find my sword in your chest, I hope you'll remember it's nothing personal. <laughs> hmm. You and Luther share a guarded chuckle, weighing one another. Finally, he gives a nod of grim respect. You nod back, then walk away. Divios or Raiden? Or save the best for last. Raiden! Go to Divios for now. Divios sits at the end of the officer's table, watching the dancing from afar. You don't dance? Oh, I dance. I'm a great dancer. Just not the night before battle. Do dance. Divios fidgets with a sword belt. Have you ever faced her? What? The white-haired witch? I've never personally crossed swords with her, no. But I've been close enough to see what she can do. Are you nervous? Gods, yes. I'm so nervous I want to flip this table over, or drink myself sick, or scream, or... The Vils chuckles, shaking his head. Anything to burn off some of the steam. Zeno has been complaining about the lack of fights this evening. Oh, no! I'm not making that mistake again. Zeno's a hair puller! Tibios pushes himself to his feet, stretching his arms over his head. I think I'll go take a ride. Maybe do a little reconnaissance on Azura's camp. You're welcome to come with me, of course. You know, if I can tear you away from the festivities. Hmm. Do I want to leave a party to ride off in the night on a reconnaissance mission? Devil shrugs, smirking. Offers on the table. You know where to find me. Devil wanders off, his fingers tapping out the rhythm of the music against his leg. And finally, Raiden. You find Raiden leaning against a pillar, engrossed in a book. Either that's the world's most interesting book, or this is the world's least interesting party. Actually, the former is. Guess is not far from. Raiden holds up the bug, showing you the diagrams inside. Is this? The reasons I pretended to betray you? This book contains the secrets to counteracting Azura's magic. This is the part where you say your mission was successful, right? Tell me there's something in this book we can actually use. I believe it is. Raiden produces a small pouch, holding it before you. Inside, you see what looks like a mixture of herbs, crushed gemstones, and gold flakes. What is that? Assuming I've prepared everything correctly, this is an alchemist mixture of anti-magic. Shall we see if it works? You haven't danced in it yet? Let's go for it. I'm glad one of us is feeling confident. Here goes everything. Raiden pours a handful of the mixture on into his palm and holds it up towards your face. He draws a deep breath. Formose et shin. Raiden blows the strange mixture in your face. You shut your eyes and shield your face, expecting a fit of coughing, but it never comes. How do you feel? It sort of tingles, so... Is this it? 
a sprinkle of magic dust, and I'm ready to fight Azura? I'm afraid not. This mixture alone will win the battle for you. What it will do is allow you to cast spells of anti-magic. If you recall the last time you battled Azura, she was able to prevent your attack with the use of a magical shield. Yes, I think I recall. Well, I found a spell to break Azura's shield. I also found one that can redirect her lightning. Those do sound useful. How do they work? To bypass Azura's shield, you must pierce it with something sharp. While saying the word Sekakto, to redirect a lightning bolt, you must first feel the lightning, feel the flow of it, picture its path in your mind. Then picture a new path for it, and say the words, Vinhama Rusa. I see. Can you repeat those back to me? To break a Zura shield, I say the word, Sakakto. And then I stab the shield. As you mime a stabbing motion, you feel a strange rush of energy. Oh. That's it? Excellent! Now, to redirect one of Azura's lightning bolts, I picture a new path for it, and I say... Actually, the words are Vin Hamarusa. Ah, I said Hamarusa. Vin Hamaru. Alright, I, I knew that. The mixture will only remain potent in your system for a few days, but it should see us through tomorrow's battle. Raiden, thank you. I don't think I've said that. And after the hells you went through to bring us this book? Raiden smiles, pressing the book into your hands. Thank me tomorrow, once we know it will work against Azira. Now I'm afraid I must go and rest, if I'm going to be in any use tomorrow. I understand. I'll see you in the morning. Raiden nods, bowing. At first light, my queen. As the evening wears on, you find yourself standing alone near the dance floor. Think back on the evening. A few conversations down on in your mind. If you think you can spare one of those hours later, we could have a little celebration of our own. Later, just save a dance for me. If you feel like joining us, I promise a good time. Offers on the table. You know where to find me. Hmm. How's your chance to spend a romantic evening with someone special? <sighs> this is going to be tough when we do Diamond Edition. This one is literally going to have to be one where... Since you only get two keys, we do have to do, like, Dom... Annalise, and then pause on Annalise until we get another key. Then finally do Annalise and Val. Then pause on Val. And then wait for another key and then do Divios. If if people want to enjoy all four Diamond Editions. Ugh. Oh, God! Ugh. Oh, I'm just thinking of the Diamond cost. How much are each one of those? 19, 19, 19. Okay. Okay. Ugh. I'm going to have to purchase another 1,000 Diamond pack. No one. Say your last good nights and retire to your room. When the shadows begin attacking you. Oh, I'm serious. That night you toss and turn, thoughts racing with visions of tomorrow's battle. No matter how hard you try, sleep won't come. Damn. With a weary sigh, you rise from the bed and pace to the window. Outside, grim storm clouds churn above a dark horizon. Flashes of lightning, like skeletal figures, claw toward you across the sky. For some reason, all you can do is think of your mother. Be with me tomorrow. Give me strength. I promise you everything you built, everything we are, I won't let them destroy it. You stand watch at the window all night. Hmm. You spent an evening celebrating with your friends and closest allies. You chose to leave love for later, and did not pursue a romantic encounter. You learned the secrets of using anti-magic to disrupt Azura's magic, 
This will serve you well in tomorrow's battle. Still, someone's not recruited. Makes you really wonder who is who's gonna be, because everyone keeps saying Divios, but I don't, I don't, I don't believe it. I don't, I don't. He's already recruited technically. He's leading our damn army. Like I said, we never had to recruit the other guys um, in our team except for Zeno and Luther, of course. So. I, I don't know. I, I don't honestly know who will be recruited or not. Um, <sighs> I've not got much sleep lately. Mm, it's starting to really hurt. Um, but I am going to start Rules of Engagement with a brand new bug. So do keep that in mind. Freshman is already up on the channel. So tune in for that. Maybe I just need a coffee. I haven't had uh, actually a coffee in a few days. Um, and then also, I'm... I had to drastically change everything. Haven't had much tea today. <laughs> Haven't had much caffeine because caffeine... Um, I mean, it's bad for you, per se, but at the same time, you can't just quit cold turkey. I tried that when I was younger, and it just... It, uh, it was easier back then, but it was also a pain in the ass, too. Um, so today I've had, like, green teas, ginger teas, you know, things like that. And I've had, you know, the occasional Earl Grey tea. My favorite tea out of all the teas. Except watermelon tea. Oh, my God. Mm. If you never had any, you should really try them. But I digress. Without further ado, hope you all did enjoy the video. Feel free to like and share. Looks like we'll be going into the battle next week. Also, stay tuned for the recap, which will happen uh, later this week after Friday, after the new um, the Royal Romance and the... Uh, Love Hacks come out. I don't know if they'll do Endless Summer. I guess we'll stay tuned find out. Also, uh, feel free to follow me on any social media. That is down there in the description. If you also want to help support me and my content, um, there's a couple links down there as well. It would be greatly appreciated. And without further ado, stay well, stay awesome, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.